Making your own lip balms is fun and easy. In fact, it only requires a few ingredients. Today, I'm going to be using our all-natural cocoa beeswax lip balm base. It contains cocoa butter, shea butter, and beeswax, and it's ultra moisturizing on your lips without feeling greasy. You can also choose a flavor oil and natural sweetener to add to your lip balm, or just leave it all natural as is. In fact, if you decide to leave it all natural, it's already ready to go. But if you choose to add flavor oils, sweeteners, or other enhancers like micas and colorants, then you can follow along the process I'm going to use today. I'm going to be using our 9ml craft tubes. These are made from recyclable materials and they offer a very cool natural earthy look to your lip balms. So let's get started. Whenever you're formulating bath, body, or lip products, you need your work surface to be as bacteria free as possible. Start by cleansing all of your supplies, your spatula, your funnels, and your pouring pitchers with a 5% bleach solution diluted in water to help eliminate any germs. Now, let's get started. First, turn on your scale and place your pouring pitcher on the scale. You're going to want to tear out your scale so that will eliminate the weight of your pitcher and you're just gonna be weighing the materials that you're using for your lip balms. So I'm going to make a bit of a bigger formula today than I can fill these two lip balms with, uh, but typically you'll make a bigger batch for lip balms because you will only need a very small amount of flavor oil and sweetener. Typically I use about half a percent. Um, and I really love that the sweetener, which today I'm gonna be using an all natural glycerin sweetener, is separate from the flavor oil and that allows you to really customize your sweetness. So if you like a really sweet, more sugary lip balm, you can add a bit more. And if you, per if you prefer it to have a more natural feel, then you can reduce the sweetener or not use it at all. I'm going to get three ounces of my lip balm base and you guys can really see how creamy and soft this base is. You can use this base in tubes or you can use it in a small lip pot as well. Perfect, three ounces on the dot. Okay, now I'm simply gonna microwave this in 30 second bursts until it's fully melted and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add my flavor oils and my glycerin sweetener. Be right back. Now that your lip balm base is fully liquefied and melted, we're going to add our flavor and sweetener. You'll notice when you melt this lip balm, you can smell that amazing richness of cocoa butter. That's one of the reasons sometimes I prefer to leave this lip balm base all natural on its own because it has a beautiful cocoa butter scent without any flavors or other additives. When you are using flavor oil, typically you're gonna use about half a percent. Keep in mind that a small amount goes a long way when it comes to lip products, so you don't need very much. In fact, today I only need about half of a milliliter. And you can use any of our flavor oils when you're making lip balm. We have both natural and conventional options. Um, and I'm using an amazing, watermelon flavor today. So this is going to be kind of a juicy tropical lip balm that I'm making. And I'm going to add about one part flavor oil and one part glycerin sweetener here. So that will be about half a milliliter of each of them. And you'll notice the glycerin is a bit thicker. So I'm going to add half a milliliter here of the glycerin. Again, I know it doesn't seem like much, but a small amount will go a very long way in lip product. And now I'm simply going to whisk this together for about 60 to 90 seconds until it's completely combined. Then you can simply pour into either your little lip pots if you're making a lip balm, or if you're making a chapstick product, then you can pour it into your craft tubes. Okay, now my product is fully combined and be careful when you're using craft tube products, whether you're making a deodorant or a chapstick. Um, obviously it's a paper product, so it will absorb oil easily. That being said, sometimes I like to change my gloves before I handle these products, um, or just be sure to keep them away from any oil or my liquid product, because it will leave residue on the outside of your craft tube. I also like to use a funnel when I'm pouring into these, um, just to be extra careful and make sure that I don't have any spills. 
so you'll have to keep a steady hand because nine milliliters is not a lot of product and you'll want to fill it up just until the top of the tube perfect and I like to leave these tubes somewhere where they can sit until they're fully cooled normally that takes about two hours there you have it you've created your own natural lip balm Again, you can choose to add awesome enhancers like micas or natural powders if you choose to color your lip balm or you want it to have some sparkle. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Happy making!